All right, guys, so sometimes, sometimes, every now and then I go ahead and get uh, somebody that just emails me either through YouTube or the email that I put for YouTube, which is Luxury Rip Tenders. And I had some young lady right now just go ahead and send me a message that she had a Zodiac that just got ripped off in Hurricane Irma. So I'm in Florida City right now. She's in uh, Key Largo. I said, hey, listen, my son's got a football game. I'm here now. Instead of driving out of the way to Hialeah, if you want, I'll just take it over there. So uh, I'm going to check it out right here. I'm on uh, Florida City, getting close to the Keys. So it's actually Florida City and then be begins from US-1 all the way to Key Largo. And she's coming from Key Largo. So let's look at this Zodiac, see what we can do. And we'll probably make a video out of it. Might freak her out too. She's going to be like, why is this guy with a camera? Really? Here's my tube. I love this. It's got to be back here. Sorry about the camera. I just do this for YouTube so a lot of people see no, 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 what's no. going on. That's you know? Um, no, that's cool. She, I, uh, she actually found me through the internet, through YouTube. And um, my son was playing football. And I see what's going on, yeah. Yeah, no, whole it, strip. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it ripped off these two pieces. They're all intact. It just like ripped off clean from the, from from the, the tubes. The tubes. Okay. The, the tubes still hold air. You know, even when uh, when she got it, I mean, she got it used, it was, uh, I mean, I would pump it up and it would hold air for a couple days and then it would it would get a little soft. So I'm not okay. sure whether it's the valves. I'll, 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 check, I'll check it out. I'll check it out completely. Uh, let's get it, let's get it into the truck and uh, a lot of times the valves, uh, you know, there's issues with, this is the, the piece that goes in the front and then these are the, uh, the, the, the rails, the side pieces and okay. then here's the whole tubes, all that's intact. I, all right, let me put this over here and let me get this on. Let me get this on. Up. All right, guys. So here we got it. We got it inflated. So we're gonna look for leaks now. We're gonna do an inspection and inspect it real good. But it has air already. We got a, a part that's missing, but these are the rails. I gotta go pick up some valves for this Zodiac, see if I could get them going. Let's see if I could get them. All right, so I gotta, came over here to Zodiac and they got the valves. I'm gonna swap out the valves for this customer. We got, uh, this is the inside of the valve, what it looks like, $6.17 over here. And here's the washer. You guys saw that it was leaking, so let's see what, what happens now when I put this. Uh, those valves are discontinued. Sometimes they're more of a problem to remove them, so we're gonna replace the inside and uh, and put this washer. See if it maybe holds better air. All right, guys. So this is the insert. We're gonna remove the valve here, and this is basically the valve that we're gonna install. It's a new valve. All right. He's got one there in his hand, and you saw he just basically now. I mean, these are not the best valves in the world. That's why they were discontinued. So if you want to see this, let's see. Okay, so so look at an example, right? Put the other one next to it, uh, Jose. All right, so you see, so let's see how, um, we're of uh, the opinion that it still might leak, but to take this off, and the whole valve assembly and put it in without making a hole and all that, it's just not worth it. Not At least not to us. And uh, this is a PVC tube and we can't go ahead and uh, glue it back with Hyperlon and then there's more issues that can happen. So we're just gonna try to minimize the, the leaking uh, from what it is now. All right, let's see if it, it leaks. Okay, brand new valve, brand new valve. So, This is why, why there's no substitute for experience. We knew this was gonna happen, but now the trick is to put the other grommet so that the other grommet doesn't leak. All right, 
So you see, the valve inside is brand new. But now we put the grommet, and this is what's gonna seal it. So, it is what it is, people. It's not gonna leak, but if you take this out, right? If we wouldn't have changed this grommet here, then we'll still have the problem. So check it out, we get another boat just to prove our theory. We just pulled this one out, right? So look, same thing. Just to prove our theory that all these valves, even if you buy them brand new, they're, they're, they're not gonna work. Um, they're, high, they're all gonna have a slow leak at some point. Um, I guess the best thing you can do is change this little grommet here. When you change that grommet, it gives you more. You see like how, how this is, is, is broken right there? See, air will seep out of that. So this is kind of like a good candidate for those grommets, right? So if you see it here, over here, same exact boat. One is obviously cleaner, nicer looking. All right? So Zodiac old school valves. They, um, they don't hold air perfect. All right guys, so uh, it's safe to say this PVC Zodiac has been fixed. All the bottom, we, we fixed the bottom, we put it all back. Remember this came off, this came off from a customer. Um, so yeah, we put it back on. We had to also add a piece that was missing. You see here, this was all reattached back. Okay, and that front piece right here in the front, was missing so we had to go ahead and make that out of hypalon for them so you see this here that's all new 